So today we're going to show you how to empty your swim spa or hot tub. Today we're going to show you a swim spa. Uh, so the things that you're going to need is your sub pump. Uh, this is a 250 clean water pump, uh, which will be absolutely fine for this for this job. Uh, here we've got our five meter flat hose. Um, you know, you can have them in all different lengths, uh, but this will be fine for today. Uh, we've connected the, the flat hose using a Jubilee clip. And the other thing we're gonna need is our extension lead. Okay, so here's our swim spa. Um, always make sure the spa or hot tub is switched off before you start using your sub pump. If you do leave it on, it will run dry and it can damage your pumps. So always make sure it's switched off before you start using your sub pump. Okay, as you can see, we've got our extension lead plugged in. I haven't switched it on yet because it's good to get everything organized before you switch the, the sub pump on. So the sub pump's connected to the uh, extension lead there. Here is our sub pump with our hose, which is going off to our designated drainage point. So now what we can do is drop our sub pump in. As we drop it in, the float switch will float up, which will then switch the pump on. But like I say, it's not on at the wall yet. It's just good to get prepared before you switch it on. Drop that into the water, like so. And now we can go switch it on at the wall. Okay, so as you can see, we've switched on our sub pump now and it's draining currently into our designated drainage point. Okay, so as you can see here, the swim spa is, is slowly emptying here now, but as it empties, the float switch is wanting to drop, which will then obviously switch it off. So what you want to do is make sure you've got the float switch up in the air so it's always working. Once the tub is finally empty, the float switch will drop and switch itself off. So always make sure you switch it off at the mains. Okay, the benefits of using a submersible pump are the fact that it takes half the time to drain out your swim spa or hot tub. Obviously with a hot tub or a swim spa, they do come with drain valves, but they do take a long time. With a submersible pump for a swim spa, for the example we're using here today, Within 45 minutes to an hour, your hot tub will be completely empty. 